Welcome to our kitchen, and we're actually in the kitchen! Yay! We are for a little bit at least. We'll also go back to the dining room in a bit, but uh, we're in here right now, yeah! And you're having your puffs, and yep, pointing at you. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to make some cookies, and they are called S'more Snack Treats, that's what they're called. And you'll laugh at me here. It's September, and I'm using a Christmas recipe book. <laughs> But they have really good cookie recipes in here. It's called Santa's Favorite Cookies. Uh, it's from All Time Favorite Cookie or All Time Favorite Recipes. Um, so we're gonna try out uh, the s'more snack treats. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need 44 squares of honey made graham crackers. It's about two sleeves, depending on what kind of box you're using. Uh, I'm using one of those value box things, like family size. So it's actually fewer per pack. So I'm going to use more of those than two. Uh, three tablespoons of margarine. It says specifically margarine. If you want to use butter or shreds bread or whatever you use, do what you want. I'm going to use country crack because that's what I have on hand. Oh, I do have butter in the fridge. I just want to do it this way this time, right? Uh, and then you need one 10 ounce package of marshmallows. Um, I had to go out and buy marshmallows before I did this video. And I only found 12 packs, so or 12 ounce packs, so uh, that could be a little more marshmallowy. I will try to judge. I'm not going to weigh it out. <laughs> uh, and then you need three quarter cups. I think I grabbed my half cup accidentally. Oh well. Uh, of miniature semi-sweet chocolate chips, or whatever chocolate chips you want to use. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to follow everything exactly as the recipe says. It's really fun to experiment. Um, so I got just regular size semi-sweet chocolate chips for that. So what I'm doing right now behind me is I'm heating up my saucepan with my double boiler. You do not need it for the recipe, but if you have a double boiler, it makes things so much easier to just for cleanup, and not burning things into the pan. We had that issue with fudge a while back. I think I told you that. Okay, so but I'm gonna go ahead and add my three tablespoons of. Um, country for crock here. And since it's so soft, I'm using butter knife to scrape it out. And yes, I did put it on top of the stove. This side's not on. This side's on, I think. Right? Yes. We're good. I'm not going to melt anything. Right? Right? Yeah. You have a puff. You have a puff. Is it nummy? Is that nummy? Alright. in our butter here. That'll let us know when it's warm enough. No, it's starting to melt already. Good. that melt and then we're going to add our marshmallows to it. So it's going to be nice and sticky which is why the double boiler would be great because it's going to be really sticky. <laughs> Just here for a second. Oh my gosh I'm back. Hi. Hi. <gasps> Alright marshmallows. Yay. Alright we're going to watch this melt. We're going to let uh, you stare at the marshmallows because I don't really want you playing with back. And I'm going to grab my graham crackers now. So okay, so for this part, I opened this weird. Hmm. I'm going to open the box the correct way. And we need 44 squares. So 
each of these, this is a rectangle for anyone who forgot math, this is a rectangle, it's two squares, so each of these is two squares, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight rectangles, so we have 16 squares. There's your math lesson of the day. All right, 16. And that's where I get stumped. <laughs> Doing math on cue, huh? Yeah, I've never been great at mental. Okay, so six, 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 12. Six, 32, right? Yeah? Okay, that sounds right. So we'll need about three of these. You want 44 squares. Alright. Is this melted yet? No, not yet. Okay. So you actually want to break these into little bite sized pieces. Uh, not crumble like you would for a pie crust. You just want like little pieces. So um, you're just going to take it. I don't know, I'm banging against something here. Did you hit this? You want to try? Yeah, does that sound like fun? Yeah? Getting my kid involved in cooking! Yay! Alright, take yours. Can you break it? our marshmallows while we're doing this. Yeah. Make sure your hands are clean. Water is getting pretty hot. I think we're gonna turn it down just a little bit. It's dancing. That's a little frightening. Okay. You done with yours? Yeah. Okay. You didn't do much. Shelf edges are pretty great for this, actually. I 
I'm sure you could also have just bought marshmallow fluff from the store, but this way it's more fun. Alright, this is going to take me a little while. Uh, it is melting nicely, but it is going to take me a few more minutes. But I'm sure you guys find the baby very entertaining. But this is probably the boring part of the video. So, I'm going to pause. Okay. Oh, you want that back? Sorry, thought we were ready. So I threw a cup. Okay. So we're all melted in here. We've got our crushed up graham crackers. Um, so, eh, I might have eaten a couple, but you know, the count was two rectangles over, so, you know, I ate two rectangles, so, hey. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to add these to the pot, uh, not put them in the pan and then pour everything over. We're going to add them to the pot directly so we can coat them over. So, we'll go ahead and do that one pack at a time. Gosh, this gets so hard to stir. You want to get your 9 by 13 and you're going to want to grease it up. You having fun there, miss? I will use this butter spray until it's out and then back to the oil. <laughs> okay. Now this is what 
your mix looks like. You could sort of see it on camera here. I'm going to get closer to you. This is what it should look like. A little bunch of pieces here with white coating. Um, so you're going to want to scrape that into your pan. It'll be very sticky. Kind of like making Rice Krispie treats. Which, pretty much, you can make this with Rice Krispies and be almost the same recipe. So, experiment! Have fun! So sticky. I am so glad I used this double boiler. You make it a mess. That's okay, so is Mama. Alright. Oh my gosh, this is hard to get out, guys. Like, I know it's marshmallow, and I know it's sticky. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think that's as good as I'm getting. Got to scrape some spoon. Now what it wants you to do is something I'm not going to do because this is kind of hot. Um, it wants you to grease up your hands and push down with your fists until it's flat. I'm not going to do that because I like the skin on my hands too much. So I have a potato masher, not tomato ma I mean, you could mash tomatoes with this, but that is not what it's for necessarily. Okay, so I'm going to use that instead. So scrape off my spoon a little better. Take this. Smush it down. I guess I can understand why you use your hands though, because it sticks not quite so. Oh, maybe if I had greased. Ah, that's what I need to do. Okay. Well, I thought I was smart, and then. Turns out maybe they are smart. Maybe they do know what they're talking about. Hmm? At least spray this. That's easier. No. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try it. It's not that hard. Off. Wash my hands just to be sure, so I'll be right back. Okay, hands are clean. So you don't want to do this when it gets too cool, because it'll be impossible, but okay. So vegetable oil. You know, I just have a little bit of vegetable oil here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So we need, oh, oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. Hands are greased. Oh, it's not too bad. How this is supposed to get to the edge? Oh, that's sticky. <laughs> I don't think anything is going to work quite as well. This might just be a mess. Oh. It's warm, but it's not like burning me. So, uh, if you want to do it this way, go ahead. A warning, your hands will come out like this. But you know what? It's not going to be perfect. It's going to be broken apart anyway, and it's not going in the oven. It's going in the fridge next. So maybe this is just what it's going to be shaped like. It's um, not spread out very well, but I really don't think it's going to move anymore. I think I let it sit a little too long. Um, man, I need to hit that pause button, but my hands are so gross. <laughs> Understand gross hands yet? Okay, well, let's try this with my wrist. Maybe. Oh my gosh, I should just add a blooper reel to this or something. I'll probably just leave everything in. Okay, there and okay. Hands are clean. This is my thoughts. Put the graham crackers in the pan first, and then spread the um, 
marshmallow topping over the top because <laughs> this is really hard to work with. The other way around might be easier. At least might look more even. So lesson of the day. That besides your math lesson earlier. And we're gonna add some chocolate chips. It says add three quarter cups. I don't care what they say. I'm gonna add as much chocolate as I want to. If I can get it open, I seem to be struggling with opening things today, don't but it's the other side, that's why. Okay. Rip that open, sprinkle those on top. All right, and this is gonna go in the fridge. So when it's in the fridge and I've left my recipe book in here, oh, of course. All right, so you need to let it chill for at least 20 minutes. And then you can take your spatula and cut them into squares and put them in your cookie jar or on your cake plate or wherever you want to put them or um, directly into your mouth. That's what you go for? Okay. Yeah. Gwen has spoken. All right, guys. Enjoy this recipe, and I hope it turns out a little less sticky for you. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.